Hi guys, Ruddy West 66 back again and doing a review. Um, it's late at night, finished work, happy day. Um, going to be doing Generation 1 Star Saber. A most very successful toy. Star Saber came in the Transformers Victory series. The Transformers Victory is part of the Takara collection. Takara took over. The, the Americans with the show after the end of season four, which was the rebirth to that, the Jets took over and they gave us three very successful series, aka Headmasters, Master Force and Victory. Now, on the character, I'm not really big on the character, I don't really know a lot about him, but I just like the toy, so that's basically why I got it. Uh, so yeah, the character Star Saber, he's the commander Spoon Commander of the Autobots, and he, you know, based on that, he wields a sword, he came from the Omega Star Saber, and he's very successful. Okay, he combined onto a robot called Victory Leo, who is actually, if you watched um, Master Force, got Jin Rai. And we had a toy of that called, over here called Power Master Prime. He is very successful. He gets beaten up and destroyed and becomes Victory Leo who will be a review after this one and then after, the, after that I'll have the whole combined Victory Saber in both plane and robot mode ok, on the toy itself because it's quite long now that is Star Saber, I know a lot of people will be going <gasps> where is the battleship that's not Star Saber without the battleship bit, there it is ok, because that isn't Star Saber that's just Star Saber like super mode or battle mode or whatever you call it but there we are now I'm going to transform this because I'm not going to show you the transformation we should put there's loads of videos in here that show you now in Transformers we've had a lot of different things we've had Power Masters, we've had Headmasters we've had Target Masters but in Victory they made a little thing called sorry Brain Masters or Face Masters, whichever you want to call it. And basically, what you do is you take this little part here, who is Saber, there you go, and you fold his little cockpit back in. While I got this place, he can pilot the plane, which is very cool. You flip down the front chest, you place the body of said character the right way, like so. And then you close it. Ta da! Thus producing a face. Now, I don't know if my face mask is fake or not. I'm not really bothered if it is. Mine's blue and the original was grey. I got it for eBay. I didn't pay a lot for it, so I'm not bothered. Okay. And basically, that was it. Now, mine's old, as I say, made in 1989, so it's a good 22, 23 years old now. And, um,. He's quite stiff, so I don't like do him in this mode that often. I know his arms pop out, and he came with a little thing called front of the um, front of the plane went on his arm like so, and his gun went on his arm like so. There you go. Now I know he didn't have his sword on there, but that's basically saber. Okay, he's really quite a fun toy. Not a lot. of movement in him, I know his knees bend his knees bend like so just for the whole transformation malarkey, his legs don't separate because they're one big piece, head doesn't rotate his arm rotates and his wrist goes like that because it's part of the transformation um, but yeah he's quite a cool toy and what you do is um, when he's in play mode he, he does combine to this quite successfully um, strangely but successfully at the same time thank you darling um, so yeah so in the show he'll go Star Saber so what, what, oh, Star Saber battle mode or something stupid like that I don't really know, I don't really care and basically all it is is similar to Metal Power Master Prime he's going to combine to his trailer or in his case his back boofer and basically that is what it does. Okay, so you have to flip the wheels down 
like so. Now I've had this thing for quite a while, you know, I bought it without the blade and all that kind of jazz. So I had to go out on my own whim to buy them. Oh, love a transformation sound, that is big clicks. Big clicks and whistles. Um and I remember my first day seeing uh, Mick Mick Mare. Never didn't know who the bloke was at this point. Love the chap. And he's got a star saber. He was looking for um is it blade and toy foo if my memory just served me correctly, had a load of just bits of rubber, but the shape of that blade. It looked like the blade had all the engravings on it and things like that to make it look like it. And obviously you can have it in your star saber so it looked like he had the blade. Because without the blade, star saber doesn't look that cool, even though it's one silver piece of chrome plastic. Okay, and basically that's it. Um and that's that. Mine's the blade. Okay, it's got hardly any chrome wear on it whatsoever. He's very successful. Okay, now there's the body which is fully transformed. It does look quite Power Ranger esque, but it does have the lovely big Autobot symbols on there. He's supposed to have two little guns. Don't on my t shirt, you can see. He's got a gun there, it doesn't have one there because mine was broken off when I bought it. Oh well, I'm not forking out for a new one. So I have the money, I've got a kid here. And basically, as I was saying, like Power Master Prime, it just clips in like so. These little wing parts, sorry, these little side parts here to cover up the arms are going to fold like so, so you can't see them. And then the wings just come back. So there you go. And then what we're going to do here is, it has a little gun turret in the vehicle mode thing. You flip it forward, and like, screw it off, face pops down. You fold the things like that, and there you go. We have Star Saber. And obviously Star Saber has his little gun, like he has in the thingy so that pops on there like that quite nicely now as I was saying about the sword blade the front part of the ship fold that little handle down just like so has a little hole in it there and this just clips in like that okay press the button it comes out doesn't come out if you do that make you press the button it falls out. But there we go. And that is basically um what do you call it? The blade. Star Saber. You take Star Saber over here and you pop it in like so. And ladies and gentlemen there is generation one Star Saber. Now I know Dave Kalil Prime was after this figure for absolutely ages. It's his favourite figure, I think. If I'm right, it was back in time. I most wanted the Holy Grail. I know he's got it now, so well done there, Betty. But this guy is big. He doesn't have a lot of articulation. His arms go around on 360s. His elbows bend at the knee joint. His legs don't bend. Inwards they bend, outwards they do like a kick. But this guy is really cool. He's very expensive to get a hold of. Guys, boxed version of this figure goes for a hell of a lot of money. But it's one of those ones that's a nest egg. You bought it, it's going to be worth a fortune in years to come. Because he was only released in Japan, he wasn't released over he wasn't only in the States, he wasn't released over here in England. Of the British Isles, so if you can ever get older one, guys, get older one. So, yeah, because he's absolutely gorgeous when he's combined a victory leo. So, there we go. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's been Rollyway 66. Doing a quick low down on Star Saber. Not my best figure, one of my rarest. There we go. Anyway, guys, take care and rock the fuck on.